Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,386th edition of Short-Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Hello, traders. This short-term trading video is being brought to you on a Wednesday night for trading Thursday. That's October 15th, 2015. We've got some topics to cover on the board, but before we go there, you should know this. If you don't, you absolutely should be aware. Futures trading is extremely risky these days, causes substantial financial loss. If you don't have risk capital to lose, if you can't afford to lose what's in your account, don't even play this game anymore. If you are a trader who's a professional and knows how to play the game, make sure you put your stops in because, boy, is the volatility out of control. All right, traders, so what is on the board? Well, we're going to start off with start off selling rallies at E-mini, S&P, NASDAQ, Russell. We're starting off with a red Omni. These days, as you know, with such volatility, we can't guarantee the Omni stays red all day, but we're starting off by selling the rallies, looking to take profits on the dips. Traders. We were almost, almost, almost out of the woods in that last video, right? We're almost out of the woods and didn't make it through. <laughs> At least not yet. I've got some very pretty charts that I think you will like to kind of show you that we are certainly not out of the woods now. We were almost, but we went back into the forest. Let's see what's going to happen, the bear forest. Gold, it is still shining, baby, yeah. A commodities run? Trade is a commodities run? Yeah. If the dollar index is going to continue lower, you're going to get a commodities run. 10, 15 days ago, I brought you sugar. It exploded since then. The gold, the silver, the copper are starting to move higher. If you were paying attention to grains, you've seen the move two days ago. You know, maybe we're getting a small commodities run. I don't know how long it will last because if they raised interest rates at some point, it would make the dollar bullish and the commodities maybe come back down. But for now, they haven't raised rates. We don't know when they're going to raise rates. The dollar's acting weird lately. Maybe we're going to get a commodities run. Traders, I'd love to show you those charts. I'd love to teach you how to trade and how to cope or cooperate, which is actually better, with these markets during the day instead of fighting against them, come on down to livewithoscar.com, come into my free trading room, and allow me to help you be a better trader. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, Dow Jones Transportation Average, we deem it the leader of U.S. indices. So I've been showing you this chart for a while and showing you how that when it gets to my Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average, OTAPMA, it fails, right? Got up here, failed, here, failed, here, failed miserably, got up here and failed, got up here, failed miserably, got up here and failed. Then we got above this and it got above the average for the first time and it put in this day and this day and this day, staying above. So we removed these little arrows, right? And we said, hey, maybe we're going to go somewhere. Well, what a difference a day can make because that was yesterday, or I should say, yeah, it was yesterday. And then this happened. So now we're back down below the average, and those arrows belong where they belong, and this is likely what's happening again. Yucky, you know, we were hoping for a better outcome than this, like a blast off, but we'll trade whatever they give us. We don't care. Buy, sell, as long as it moves. On to the next chart. Dow Jones Industrial Average. Remember the F flag I showed you and the OTAPMA? They came together. Well, here's where we stand now. We were in the F flag up until that day, and we fell out below the F flag. That is a breakdown starting to happen. Then we move along to the E-mini S&P. Once again, fell through the F flag, settled down here. This will now be, I guess, recorded as a double top. So that's a double top that's now working. And you're below the F flag, more bearishness for trading, at least on Thursday. And then we have the NASDAQ traders. The failure at the 200s, the ugly chart here. Why? Because the fund managers key off of failures at 200 bar moving averages. Here it got above, and then on that same day it came down and settled underneath. And look at how they abused it afterwards, right? They punished it. 
Well, here we got above, came back down, settled underneath, and we've done this already. The likelihood is they start to punish it like they did here. So we have more reason to be bearish going into Thursday's trading in your U.S. indices. Then we look at the shiny metal traders. This was a chart I put before your eyes, and I said, look, it's come to a spot where we're at the bottom of this channel, and we're breaking above an average that we never seem to break above. And it got above for two days, and we talked about it, buy, where we're going to buy it again, and the market should go higher. So this is where it was in the last video, and... This is what happened. Look at those two together. My goodness. Nice piece of analysis, right? And gold is still bullish. We expect even higher out of the gold. And then we've got this little treat. Traders, are we in for, co for a commodities run? Is that what's going to start to happen? Because the dollar lately is starting to slant a little bit, as you can see. And until they raise interest rates... Might as well expect the dollar to start doing this for a little while. As you can see inside this channel, it seems to come back down, hit the top, all the way back down, hit the top, almost all the way back down, hits the top. Let's see if it wants to do this. For now, if the dollar started to do this, for sure you'd get a commodity run. We've got a couple of markets already going, right? You've got some metals moving, you've got sugar moving and coffee. You've got a couple of markets already joining in. You've got the grains. Let's see if the dollar pushes lower. Traders, pull your own charts. Do your own analysis. I'll see you all at LiveWithOscar.com. Okay, traders, you've seen the charts. You've got my technical argument for why I say we are not out of the woods anymore. We were almost in the last video. Not the last one, the one before it, where I stood in front of the camera. In last night's video, I actually said sell, 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 and that did work. So now, another one of these videos where I can present some charts and speak to you. We were almost out of the woods in that last video, but no, 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 down we go. Gold still shining. And maybe, just maybe, a commodities run. If you'd like trading recommendations on these trades I'm putting on the board behind you, if you don't know where to buy or sell or where your stops belong, come on down to LiveWithOscar.com and join my recommendation service. I will send you the signals as we're getting in, as we're getting out, a suggestion on stops, and where to take your profits if they come. LiveWithOscar.com. All right, traders, remember... Keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that is say this to yourselves every morning, afternoon, and every evening. And you know what that is. Stop so Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.